Well, how's it going folks? We're just getting into the field here now. We're gonna do a quick walk around of this planter and you're probably wondering a little dark here, ain't it Andy? Well, I ended up getting a new flashlight here from Olight. Look at how bright that is. 2200 or 30, 3200 lumens. So we're just gonna give the planter here a quick walk around. I've got it full of seed. Full of fertilizer it's just a little bit after three o'clock here this morning and um, we're gonna get going and I got a wheel out of whack there I better change that one <clears throat> so let's change that thing first thing here yeah we'll just set this light on the on the ground here put that like that and we'll get that fixed okay let's get this guy changed <clears throat> these are left-handed thread here this, okay, here's all wound around there Alright, we've got that changed out. I don't know why. I didn't notice that last night, but I didn't. Everything looks good for the most part here. Alright, so I ended up breaking this hub here uh, the other day. This hub I hit a stone, bent this uh, wavy disc. And we replaced that um, spindle there on that opener disc, or on that wavy disc. And that bracket there is bent too, so I've got a new one of them coming. I tried straightening it, but um, that didn't work out so well. So we're just going to check this thing out the rest of the way, and we're doing good here. So tractor looks good. Ended up changing the oil on this tractor here the other day, yesterday that is, right in the field. Okay, we've got the first field planted here this morning. Um, this one particular field here is the field that um, oh, we did some tile 
tiling in right here and I've actually got it um, I've actually got it marked on the oh you can kind of see the lines now yeah, a little bit right there where I marked the tile lines uh, with the tractor here uh, back a few weeks ago so this uh, field is the field that my father ended up pushing that tree I don't know if you remember it but he stood the tree up and he ended up pushing it the whole length of the field here and he relocated it in in here once we get down the other end of the field we'll show you we'll show you where that and what that looks like but um, this tree here is still standing you can see us sitting uh, right there and uh, the tree that he ended up um, standing back up and he took the root ball and the tree trunk and whatever he ended up pushing up the whole length of the field that's this one here and he ended up cleaning this this is an open ditch that runs down through here he ended up cleaning this open ditch out and these two trees had blocked quite a bit of the water that runs down through this open ditch between our land and the neighbor's land here and what was happening is some of the water was coming over into this field here and flooding this um, this region out. Um, he put some tile lines in and uh, last year when we planted this field I planted like right there. Let me do that again. I planted like right here. Uh, I couldn't even plant down on this bottom side because it was so wet. And I, I probably shouldn't have planted this field first here this morning anyways because I am as heavy as I could possibly be. Not only am, am I full of fuel, but um, I'm full of fertilizer and um, full of seed. Uh, I had to plant myself out of seed. Last night there's 48 bags of seed in it and I had to do the same thing with the fertilizer I wanted to get. Um, the truck as empty as I could get it so I could refill those tanks. So uh, why don't we shoot down the other end of the field here. This, uh, he ended up pushing that, um, oh, the root ball and the uh, tree trunk and whatever all the way down the uh, field there. I'll put a card in up above here and then this tree is relocated right here. So we'll uh, rejoin you when we get down the other end of the field here. Okay, we are down at the end of the field, and we're just going to jump out. I shut the lights off on the tractor because the damn freaking flies, they uh, crawl right into the tractor in a hurry. So, we're going to show you, um, there is that um, tree that he ended up relocating down to this other end of the field here. It's setting in its new home right here. And then there's the other tree that was alongside it. And there she is right there. So, <laughs> yeah. there's where it is. I'm going to walk around this planter one more time before we move up to that next field here. interested that Oloy is running another uh, flash sale here on May 28th and you can take advantage of a 40% off savings on they've got a couple of new uh, lights out and they ended up sending me those here a while ago and I've had a chance to use them and once it gets to be daylight out here and you can see a little bit of what's going on in this camp I could show you uh, what those look like and I can give you my thoughts on them as well um, I'm just gonna put a link in the description uh, down below click on that link 
when you go to their website you can see what package deal you can get there's a couple of three lights you can buy all together and uh and a little bit here once i get um a little better situated i'm gonna have the phone ringing here on and off for a little while while i'm having uh while i'm getting the guys um set up on what they're what direction they're supposed to go here so um we'll talk about these the new lights that they have in this sale here coming up here but um we're gonna get along with planting here right now the sun is just starting to come up um it is dry um dry dry a lot drier than it was last year at this time last year at this time we were about a quarter of the way planted through uh, the amount of corn that we plant and right at this current moment I am just a little bit over three quarters done so um, we see the light at the end of the tunnel here now um, it is Wednesday morning and we're gonna start laying hay down here in a couple days so we're gonna be chopping here next week uh, the past few years we've been chopping and plant corn at the same time I would plant corn early in the morning and then chop in the afternoon so um, I'm hoping that we don't have to do that again this year but last year we had better than half the corn to get planted um, while we were trying to chop hay did I say chop corn plant corn chop hay whatever so everything kind of blends all in together here so um yeah once it gets to be daylight here i'll i'll show you these new uh flashlights here's one of them here's the one that i was using earlier um both of these here are, are pretty decent and then they ended up sending me um i an it 305 or EO5 or something. Once it gets to be daylight, I'll uh, talk a little bit about these uh, flashlights here. And uh, what I like and what I don't like about them. But like I was saying, the phone is going to be ringing here in a little bit of a minute. And uh, I've got to get the guys arranged into what they're supposed to be doing for the day. So we'll join back up with you once the sun comes up and I get out of this little field that I'm in and uh, we'll just kind of have to see how things go along here um, got to keep the breakdowns to a minimum so we can keep on putting seed in the ground here all right we are on the Cummings farm now and that's what we have going on we've got every other strip here is going to be corn and then the opposite ones are hay so we're just getting started we are right here i can blow this map up a little bit this is the old cummings farm but that's where i'm sitting right there so i've got all this all these strips identified as uh one field just so that we don't have to keep changing the display uh, right here to go from one strip to the other because usually what I do when I'm chopping corn over here especially um, when we go from when we're opening up the field we don't stay in one strip we jump from one to the other and if you have these identified as separate fields what happens is um, it takes too long to change fields on the display so I've mapped these strips uh, separate so that well the even ones are all together and the odd ones are together so we're gonna get started here on these strips and then I've got one more uh, farm after this one that's got strips in two locations so when we get done um, with these strips here Towards the end of this video, I'll do a time lapse. We'll throw the drone up in the air. We've got this small little field here that's over to our left side. We've got one here and one there, and they are less than an acre. So we'll do a time lapse. 
put the drone up in the air, um, do a time lapse of planting that whole field there. And maybe we'll do this one here too, but that's where that little field is, is right over there on the other side of the road. So let's get started here and we'll get moving along. I'm going to share with you guys what Olight uh, sent me here the other day to try out. They ended up sending me three flashlights to try out. I know it seems real silly, you know. <laughs> but at any rate, I always carry a flashlight on me. And um, I'd said it before, all these companies, they reach out. They want you to do this, that, and the other. And I decline on every one of them. But um, I use a flashlight every single day. And when they sent me the Warrior X Pro, I said, "Well, I gotta, I gotta see what this is all about. If it's just a fluky, crappy thing, what's it, what's it matter? You know, it's, I'll just throw it in the trash." But it was a great flashlight. So, uh, the flashlight that I was using earlier on in the video is the Seeker 2. They have just introduced this flashlight. Comes with a, a belt loop case, just like I have here. Now, I'm not wearing it right now because I wanted to show it to you. Uh, this has got a nice closure on it that is not going to open. Uh, you know, it won't let this uh, light fall out, but it's a, it's a little clumsy to get this uh, buckled back up with uh, one hand. The Warrior X Pro had a magnetic closure on it. Uh, this light is a little different than the Warrior X Pro. It's got the same... Uh, uh, battery and it's got the same brightness or lumen power or whatever you call that but it's got a side switch on it instead of the on off button on the end now this light here has got a chargeable cord magnetic like that it's just a USB uh, style cord and uh, it also has an L bracket that you can secure to the wall or something, a cabinet, you know, whatever you want to do with it. And you can just stick the uh, flashlight to it and it'll charge on its own. Alright, so the second flashlight they sent me, and I've got it in my little armrest box here, is the, i got to look on the iPad to see what it's called is the S1R Baton 2. It's purple, you know, for you effeminate guys that, that you know, like these girly colors, it'll be perfect for you. But um, I don't really care for this little flashlight. This one has got a little pocket clip on it. And uh, when you put it in your pocket, it exposes the top of the light. Um, I end up with dirt, grease, grime, and I also worry about sparks from uh, grinding, torching, welding, and whatever like that. So I don't think this one's going to work for me. This one's also got the chargeable base on it with a side button. Um, this one's a, it's a pretty, uh, pretty bright light. Um, you know, as, as far as that goes, it's, it's compact. So it has its, its pluses and its minuses. The third light they sent me was the i5T E05. This is probably the best light for your money. Um, I use uh, this one every day. They ended up sending me this one 
uh, last time around and it fits very nicely right in my front pocket and it's got the on off button on the on the base this takes a double a battery however so that's the only downfall to this is it doesn't have a rechargeable battery in it and um, they just clip that there and it goes with me every day I always have a flashlight with me it doesn't matter if uh, you know if it's dark out or whatever you could have the best daylight and if you're working on something Sometimes it's best to just have a little more light looking down in an engine compartment or something. But I just wanted to share that with you. Um, they are having a sale on May 29th. Uh, click on the link down in the description, folks. Uh, you can get a 40% off coupon there. Take advantage of the whole thing, you know. Do whatever you're going to do with it. You can get all the details on their website. Uh, they're telling me that they have limited quantities of these three lights that I just showed you. But if you use the uh, code ANDYFFF, you can get 10% off anytime um, on anything you end up buying from. You know, like I said, this, this light for the money is probably something that would fit everybody's... Uh, Likings. The other stuff is a little expensive, but at the same time, uh, you've seen how much light that gave me when I worked on this corn planter earlier. I'd like to say that that was staged. That was not staged. I filled this damn corn planter last night with seed corn and fertilizer. I wanted everything to be ready to go early this morning so I could just turn the key and go. And I was just going to do a quick walk around to show you guys the brightness of that flashlight, make sure my tires were up, all that stuff, and lo and behold, I got a freaking closing wheel out of whack. But I've got to order a whole pile of those here momentarily. Um, I'm going to get on the horn here uh, right now. Jared, he needs a hydraulic pump for one of the trucks. I've got to call on that too. So let's roll into the rest of the video. I know these promotional type things kind of rub some people the wrong way, but I like to share with you guys the stuff that somewhat intrigues me and, you know, just the different tools I use to get through the day. And I always, not just because they sent me these things, but I always carry a flashlight with me. I've got a, a little tool carrier that I wear on my belt. I used to carry, always had with me a little mini mag light, but um, I really kind of like this instead. And uh, ever since they sent me this, it's been going with me every day, along with the real bright light too. Um, you know, this is more or less a, a more of a general purpose. The, the Seeker 2 and the Warrior X Pro, um, they work great for, you know, when you really need a lot of light. So let's get into the rest of the video. So let's get into the rest of the video. Thanks in advance for just putting up with this spiel, if you will, a sales spiel. <laughs> so enjoy the rest of the video, folks. All right, we are planting the last strip on this farm. I've got um, every other strip is alfalfa here, just like on the other farm. And I've got one, two, three, four, what is there, five? Five strips of corn. We're going to fly over the top of the lake here and get a little bit of a visual of it. This video is getting kind of long, so I don't really want to bore you with too much uh, plant coverage here. So this is a Tisco Lake. I'm just going over the top of the Tisco Valley Road right now. I don't know if we could see the, you can see that causeways down there and then we'll just kind of pan around here carefully. I don't know if we're gonna be able to see the dam or not. Yeah, we ain't gonna be able to see the dam, but the dam is on uh, the opposite end of the lake. I'm turning around on the headland here. All right, so I just got turned around on the headland. I haven't got much left to this field. We'll 
we'll just kind of run down the length of the lake here. We just had a boat go by a minute ago. I'm actually done here now, so we're going to fly the drone back to the tractor, and that is going to do it for this video, folks. I want to thank you for watching, and we're going to catch you at the next one. I'm going to be on some bigger fields, slightly bigger fields anyways. I've got some strips to do. Oh, it's on the same track of land here. Just back to our north there but at any rate we're going to get this drone down like i said and we're going to call it quits for this video so thanks again for watching folks remember to uh hit the folks at olight uh you can drop down in the description there and you can get the link to uh their may 29th um flash sale